Good evening to you. I must tell you, this is a city I always look forward to travelling to on football commentary business, Naples. My name is Derek Ray, and with me for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It's Napoli taking on Valencia. Well, the host losing their first game in match day one. You'll hear this phrase before, catch up, and that's what they're playing. Can they get some points on the board? The Napoli starting 11. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the full-backs to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. Keeper did his job to begin with. Not messing around with that clearance. Fabian... He's just a thorough reader of the game. And there we saw it. Piccini. Nothing wrong with that idea. Rodrigo. Now he must favour the cross. Carlos Soler. Coquelin. He's going to be angry with himself, Lee. Both having... teams expected to go deep into this competition. Can't wait for this one. Well, visionary passing. Just wanted to get it out of there. And a throw-in it's going to be. Callejon. Alan. Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe it. Possession. Now Coquelin. It's with Parejo. Rodrigo! And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, let's see that strike again. First time is always very, very difficult to strike a ball. The timing has to be right, the technique has to be right. But above all, you have to concentrate on the ball as it's coming to you. You know you're not going to take a touch. Concentration is everything. And scope for them to produce Jose Callejon. And the corner has been given. And a deep corner into the centre of the area. And tipping it over the crossbar. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. On over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Fabian is with Zielinski. Powerful enough, but not precise enough. No, not accurate. And here is Alan. Well, off the bar and out of play. Now Kokoda. Losing possession a bit easily. A 
highly purposeful attack this the emphasis on getting the ball forward can he get them level up into the net courtesy of Lorenzo Insigne Well, as we see, there'll be an inquest between keeper and defenders. He'll be saying, where were you? And they'll be saying, why didn't you catch it? A chance to revisit the goal. Fabian. And here's Alan. Well, first-rate goalkeeping. Oh. He can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. And a deep ball in. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Quite the catalogue of great saves. And that the now latest with one. Gabriel Paulista. Gonzalo Getsch. And it's played into the centre. Fine reaction save from the goalkeeper. Goalkeeping at its best. Really, really top draw. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Corner kick played in. Taking care of business defensively here. He just keeps going. No let up. He's gone for power, Lee, but it's wide. Well, no real direct. Simone Verdi. Now, well, let's see. Does he mean business? Crossed into the penalty area. And he's banged it against the woodwork. It's with Parejo. Gamero, useful ball to the near post. Now, what can he do here? Rodrigo, he has plenty of support. And a goal! Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact. Does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. A bit more analysis as regards the goal. So a throw in here. Daniel Vass. Gonzalo Getsch. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Crossing possibilities. And a goal is his. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, the keeper will be frustrated. He thought he'd saved it. He's so unlucky there. It's a good angle from him as well. But it's in the back of the net. Well, let's have another view of that goal. been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change and that's a deep corner and was a not far away at all with the volley well to catch it here's Insigne Goulam it is a fruitful forward run that's it the final whistle and the malaise in Europe continues points drop once again and they're complicating things greatly in their quest to qualify.